Well, West Michigan High School is expanding CPR training for athletes. News 8's Kyle Mitchell has a look at what inspired this new program. Learning CPR is already a state requirement, but Hartford High School wants some athletes from every team to recertify each year. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I like what I see. I like what I see. Do not touch the patient analyzing heart rhythm. When it comes to CPR training, I'm going to try and keep this as real as possible. These Hartford High School athletes don't take learning how to save a life lightly. 14, 16, 17, 18. Sophomore Jillian Kuhnley says she feels good about recertifying for CPR. I'm involved in volleyball, basketball, and track. I do participate in cross-country workouts in the summer. Let me hear you count. Let me hear you count. It's part of a new program to have at least two students with up-to-date training on every team. Shock delivered. You could be anywhere, and somebody could go down, and an adult might not be around. Um, teachers might not be around. It might be after school, and you might just have to step in to save someone's life. And God forbid something happens to him. We have to have a plan. Hartford's principal and director of safety for the district wants to have as many people trained as possible. Over 95% of our entire staff in the entire district are CPR and AED certified. And apply pads onto patients' bare skin. 23 athletes are going through the winter training session, and the district thinks the benefits of the program could reach beyond school grounds. You never know when somebody's going to be in need, and uh, whether it's at you know Christmas dinner or down in Florida or just you know on the farm or you know at the house. If something were to happen, uh, what greater gift than saving someone's life? Student athletes say other districts should follow suit. It's a great opportunity for everybody. The school plans to recertify teammates three times a year for all the high school sports seasons. In Hartford, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.